Hi everyone, my name is Akshaya Kaure. I'm a nature and animal communicator and I've been a tarot card reader for the past 13 years and now I integrate both these modalities to help me connect better with nature and animals around me. In the previous video, I spoke about few common obstacles that we face in our animal communication journey and how I personally have dealt with it and these resolutions have helped many of my students as well. In this video, I'm going to share with you a few common obstacles people face with their tarot card journey and a few resolutions that I may be able to provide that may help you. So let's get started. The first obstacle people face is, of course, the fear. There are so many cards and they don't remember the meaning. So the fear of not remembering meanings, the constant need to have a booklet or some kind of guide to help us with the meaning of the cards and that is something that blocks a lot of tarot card readers especially at the beginning of their journey now remember that tarot cards are beautiful interpretations of our day-to-day -day life as well as certain karmic and spiritual lessons and these interpretations are very visual so if you look at the card and if there's something that stands out to you that becomes the meaning of the card for you you don't need to buy heart everything you don't need to remember everything and personally i really feel it's impossible to know everything about the cards because there is just so much in the cards that the more you learn the more you know that you don't know anything right so begin with the basics Begin with what you remember. If you don't remember anything, look at the card. Just remember the basic of which suit the card belongs to, what the card makes you feel, what are the pictures in the card denoting. And that way you can interpret the card as well. So don't get overwhelmed by the number of cards and by hearting the meaning. Start with the basic meaning that you remember and that is enough. That's how you build up on your experience and you get better at your skill level with your tarot cards also. So don't worry about remembering and by hearting the meaning. Just let it come to you intuitively and that's how you can interpret the cards. The second obstacle people face is the number of cards. You know how many number of cards to have a lot of people feel that the more number of cards in a spread the better the interpretation is while i don't completely disagree with this thought yes you can get a lot of insights because you remove a lot of number of cards however i don't find it mandatory to always remove many cards for me personally my personal practice is that i use one two or three cards at the max and then i would rather ask more questions and do more spreads than you know have one spread with 13 14 15 cards but again that's just my practice it works for me so if this is an obstacle you face that you're overwhelmed by the number of cards in one spread don't have too many just have one card two card three cards whatever is comfortable with you and start with that start with just a couple of cards first learn their meanings see what the cards are talking to you uh, see what the cards are telling you learn to connect them with each other and then move ahead with more cards again let me tell you more number of cards doesn't mean better reading what means better reading is what you are comfortable with because at the end of the day you and the cards have a relationship and you have to hone it and mold it according to whatever is comfortable to you not what everybody else around you is doing so again look at it as a personal practice create a personal relationship with your cards and work with your cards like that the third obstacle people face is connecting the cards so if, as long as it's just one card they know the meanings they're happy with it and they get their answers but the minute you remove multiple cards you remove two cards three cards people find it very difficult to link the cards together and create a story again go back to your basics whatever is the first thing that comes to you when you look at the card stick to that meaning of the card once you have understood the meaning of all the cards that you have taken out say you have taken out three cards you take one word meaning for each of the card then put those three words together and see what story what meaning it makes for you it need not be a novel that you need to write it could just be those three words that make sense to you and that's how you can begin practice and that is how you can overcome this obstacle of being overwhelmed by connecting the cards to one another it's not very difficult if you don't look at it as something very difficult look at it as something very basic how when we were younger we used to have these building blocks you know 
we used to keep one block on another and we started learning the alphabet and then we started with abc and then we started making two alphabet words and three letter words right that is how you do this as well you get one meaning right and then you connect it to the other meaning and that's how you link your cards you don't need to buy hearted you don't need to know a lot about it just knowing the basics is good to begin with and as you start practicing you will get better you will get deeper insights and deeper meanings on the cards as well so don't don't worry about linking the cards and getting confused over it the next obstacle people face again is related to the meanings they do not understand how to interpret interpret one single card in different uh, kinds of questions so there could be a question about someone's relationship there could be a question about someone's spiritual journey there could be a question about someone's uh, a career there could be a question about someone's health there could be a question about someone's financial status and the same card can be interpreted differently uh, for all these questions now this will take a little bit of practice i do agree that it can be a bit overwhelming but again do not get overwhelmed by it <laughs> what i mean to say is that if you know the basic meaning of the card then you can apply it to the question that you have asked and once you start practicing this technique you will also understand how in every situation the card will apply differently as well so you don't need to worry about again by hearting the meaning for career relationships finance health and different uh, learn different meanings you just need to know one meaning of that card and then apply it appropriately to the question so you don't have to understand different meanings at all you just have to apply the same thing uh, the card is trying to tell you for example let's take this example recently i shared this in one of my previous videos that uh, a card five of um, wands came up right and five of wands for me is competition so if you also relate five of wands to healthy competition then you can apply it everywhere so if the question is about a career there is healthy competition if the question is about relationship it means that uh, there there is not there is no necessarily conflict but there needs to be an effort to ensure your top of your game you know don't lose interest just because you are together for 10 years you work on it as if it's something fresh as if it's something new uh, that's for relationship if it comes for health again it means that you need to work to ensure you are at the top of your game because wherever there is competition you need to ensure that you have an edge over others so when it comes to health health also it means the same thing so if you know the crux of the card you will be able to apply it to every question so understand what the card is trying to tell you and then apply it to the question that you have asked the cards so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it helpful if you have any more uh, obstacles that you are facing or you have resolutions please do mention it in the comment section below until the next video bye bye